So it's come to my attention that since the Bronx Star is so amazing and it did so good, <laughs> it deserves to have its suspension ripped out from underneath it. That means it's not amazing, we're disciplining it. Are you playing monkey? Yeah, you know that one itch you can't get in the center of your back? So we're gonna put it on the lift. We're gonna raise it to the moon and we're gonna drop the suspension out from underneath it. We got Barnes four wheel drive sending us some four link front and rear. Some new shock towers. And we're gonna get this bad boy just looking mint. So you're gonna wanna stick around because in a couple episodes, we're cutting the entire back off. Flatbed? <laughs> Not a flatbed, a ranger bed. So we wanted to cap the tops and make the back work. Ding! Why not just put a ranger bed on it? So we're gonna cut it up, we're gonna splice it, dice it, do hard work and resourcefulness. We're gonna put a bed on this. So it's gonna be more like a blazer. Yes. Nothing like a blazer. It's gonna be identical to a blazer. It's gonna be identical to a full-size Bronco. A Chevrolet blazer. Full-size Bronco, okay. Ford but Bronco. We need to get it positioned and get it lifted up. Should we have like a moment of silence for the little baby wheels and tires and suspension like this? I think a donut is in order, but I want to do it. Meet me out front. To the parking lot we go. I'm about to see if he'll do a brogy now. Ew. The old Bronx Star don't have what it takes. Suspend it too soft. <laughs> he wants to roll. It's smoking. Look at all that oil. Oh, that's nice. The old Bronx Star did a little bucking and bronking. Whatever, it's its last hoorah. So the problem is, the suspension sucks. So, bad. we're gonna rip it out. That's all there is to it. <laughs> this cheater, I found his secret weapon. <laughs> what the? Who the heck? I thought the Bronx Star had all the power in the world. He used vice grips. Not when I was using my truck, I didn't. Ugh, that's where those went. Wondered where my vice grips were. Oh, you almost blew it. Well, good thing those are coming off, huh? Is that a drop or a lift? Yeah, it has a four inch lift underneath it. Holy guacamole. There's so much oil everywhere. We just gotta take those brackets off, those brackets off, the drive line, unbolt them there and boom. Mm -hmm. Bada bing, bada bang. This is gonna be such good real estate to start for one ton axles. That's gonna hold her from sliding. It's just to hold the rubber in place because that rubber falls out. That's real nice. Did you lift this? Yes. Of course you did. You know how goofy these look non-lifted? We're gonna have to cut your shock towers off. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think we'll need that anymore. So by the time we're done with it, it will not be street legal no more. Be licensed off-road. Garbage. So this is actually for electric vehicle batteries, but since we don't have anything electric, we're gonna use it on the Bronx Star suspension. All right, Dinskinator, take it around. Look at dinner, just a hustling. All right, so in theory, this should beam itself up really easily. Ooh, I'll do it. That drives it? No way. Oh, look, I'm pushing the button. It's alive! Look, it's our new move suspension lift. Yay! Okay, I think you're plenty high. Last time these are coming off before the trash can. They're all cross-threaded anyways. Hillbilly Loctite. Wait, what are you even doing? I'm starting to disconnect all the front end. It's taking the wheels off everything. <laughs> this is so cross-threaded. Hillbilly cross-threaded all of his lug nuts. Can you prove it me? You're the owner. Who put the tires on? Oh! Who put the tires on? Oh! <sighs> Come on! This is supposed to be so easy. Torque's right behind you. If I just beat it with a hammer, everything will come down. Just beat it. it just beat it. Halfway. Hey, Robbie, we might have to get a uh, hold of your friend Nerit to have him build drive lines for this. He builds derby car drive lines. They're so they'll be strong enough for a rock crawler. There's one drive line up. Throw that piece of poo poo in the trash. So I'm gonna get the sway bar off while Hillbilly plays with drive shafts. Basically, every bit of this front suspension is just gonna fall to the ground and we're gonna replace it all. I wonder if we need to change this steering box once we put one ton steering on it. You should do some homework. Um, probably should. 
after we're done with class today, students, uh, go home and do some homework. We might have to go <laughs> hydraulic steering. Maybe hydraulic assist. I was talking full hydraulic. That's crazy. Hillbilly's talking that gibberish again. That'd be kind of cool to have a uh, four wheel steer. Like four wheel drive? No, you rear know front what? and rear tire steer, like monster trucks. What I'm most excited for is when the old Bronx Star gets painted. This is all fun and games and cool, but that's where I'm excited. Should we paint Dukes of Hazard? No, Bronx because, Star. Because yeah, Bronx Star's going on it. Actually, all right, kids, we're gonna need you guys' help. We're all undecided on what color the Bronx Star logo needs to go. So tell us what color you guys think would be the best. First, what color do you want it? Yeah, Black? What color, what color do you like? Do you want the whole the Bronco? Bronco? I mean, I'd love snow camo. I mean, that could work. We need your help. He wants some sort of camo. Snow camo. Snow camo. What do you guys think? Will that work? Or should we go with a different color? And what color, Bronx Star, should it be? Drop a comment. Let us know. And by the way, just so you all know, we need your help. You've got to go back and watch the video where we're trying to get 50,000 likes for a Harley because this man back here deserves a Harley Davidson. And last we checked, we were at like 39,000 likes. That's only 11,000 more likes to get to 50,000. As soon as he gets to 50,000 likes on that video, we're getting him a Harley. So come on guys, help a brother out. Please, I'm in desperate need. Please, oh, please, oh, please help him. A simple click, just a little like, just bing. That's all you gotta do. And once we hit 50,000, we'll take you guys with us. Whoa, got it. Okay, hey, guess what? Why are you doing it so hard? Hey, uh, hey, it worked. One coil spring, expertly removed. Oh, it's locked. That was way cooler in my head than it was in real life. All right, so it is another day. We have a lot to do on the old Bronx Star because this front suspension isn't gonna take itself out. A lot's an understatement. So our goal is before lunch, we're going to have the front end out. Which is in an hour. Yeah, which is in an hour. We're gonna get our butts to work. Do I need a 916th or a 58th? You need a torch. I like the way you think. I'm gonna get the torch here in a minute. Half the bolts are already falling out for us. I know. This thing, literally, no wonder it shake, shimmy, and whoa, it hit me in the face. You know what? I'm done. When in doubt, get your Milwaukee saws all out. And safety glasses. Who needs brake lines? Yeah, not us. Uh, we're leaking. Let it drip until it's done dripping. Well, my job here is done. Look at this. We call this the Milwaukee drawer. Yeah, I know. Be jealous. Because you should be. Whoever put this together Those didn't, not use, the same didn't size. use the same bowl. <laughs> You guys should probably wear safety glasses. You're probably right. You get a lot less stuff in your eyes. From like the 60s? We better Gosh. wear those tight belly shirts tucked in with big old bell bottom pants. Those are in, yeah. They had a nut made out of grease. No wonder this thing was such a death trap. Why? Because literally like nothing was bolted in. We're getting closer. All right, when in doubt, all you gotta do is get the longest extension of mankind. Just make sure you use a 25 foot long extension so I can really see what I'm working with. This is about to fall. So Hillbilly's gonna do some housekeeping because that's what he's really good at while I stand and watch. Because you're really good at that. Very accurate. <laughs> so I'm actually excited. This is gonna be easy to four link. And you know what's really cool? We haven't told you yet, but Hillbilly is gonna move the front axle forward. He wants his tire like almost to the front. Is that safe? Probably not. He wants to stretch his wheelbase. It'll be safer than what this has been. So we're gonna put that sucker right out here. And guess what? Our BFG's shipped. They're on their way. And we got KMC wheels coming for this. We're gonna be putting 17 inch KMC's on the Bronx Star with 37 by 12, 50, 17 KM3's. Mm -hmm. This thing is gonna look so sick. Oh, they don't make bead locks and steel wheels. Looks like we're building our set of speed locks. That's true. We're gonna have to build some bead locks. Cause I won't run aluminum wheels. Yeah, he's so against aluminum cause aluminum's dumb. No, if I bend a rim, I like to go to hammer it back out and still drive down the road. Yeah, he does. Drive off mountain or whatever. He bends a rim, he wants to be able to fix it on site. Yep. We're gonna bring our new electrical battery lift table thingy majigger. We don't work on electric vehicles, so this is now suspension remover table, but it's awesome. And it's gonna do the exact job that we need because we're lazy. And when lazy people get hard jobs, they figure out the easiest way in the world to get it easiest done. The fastest. If you ever need a hard task done, pick your laziest employee because they will figure out the easiest, quickest way to get it done. I don't think I'm quite your laziest person. In theory, this suspension should just fall out. Are you ready? Up. 
Look at how awesome this lift is. Grab now the, we need to get the shocks undone. Grab the grinder for the torch and just cut them. Can't we just get above it and undo the bolt? Yeah, but that doesn't seem like very fun. That's true. It wasn't as cool, but it sure was easier. All right, well, that this side was well oiled, so it came right off. Wow. The cool thing is we're taking the entire crossbar and everything. <laughs> Here, I got it. I got it for you. Okay, now we're going to go down. Whoa, 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 This bolt is caught. Oh, that'll, should skip past. Where's the pry bar? Whoa, look at it. Look at it, look at it, look at it. We're done like the wind, bullseye. Look at how awesome this table is. You cannot tell me that this lift is not amazing. The only bad part is getting something off of it or on it. Well, we got Frank. Can, can you pressure wash this? It's pretty bad. We should have thought about that before we pulled the front axle out. Yeah, we'll probably have to do it by hand now. All right, so now we're gonna get this thing out of here. We're gonna need Frankus. So we're gonna pull this outside, go get Frank, lift this off, and then we're dropping that rear suspension. Hopefully Frank starts because the last few times, Frank's not wanted to start. Is Frank gonna start? Oh. I won't even say it again. But yay! Hercules, Hercules, Hercules! <laughs> I see what happened to your four wheel drive! Got broken! Yeah, that's been broke a timer 10. We're figuring out what we can eliminate basically. So there's some wiring here that we're not gonna need. And then we're gonna slice and dice the e-brake. This is the vent tube that's unnecessary. We're gonna undo that, we're gonna undo this, lob that off. It's about to come out. You got it. <laughs> I was yeah. saying, you wanna hang this on the wall for a souvenir. <laughs> Why don't you put a gold chain and put it around your neck? Totally destroyed. First set of tires the Brock Star was able to burn through. And they were junk to begin with. Do you know where we put these? In the trash. Ooh, you made them all. I'm not saving anything off this Bronx Star. I just cut the e-brake cable because I don't need it no more. It didn't work from the get-go. So we're lightening up the vehicle a couple pounds. What what happens if you need an emergency brake? I've put no I've, well, I've been this far without one because it never worked, so when that time comes we'll Figure it out then. All right, I got the one size fits all to get these brake lines removed, and I'm just twisting. The thing we don't need to reuse these brake lines is it's literally just twisting them. This one just twisted off. We'll probably end up changing this whole hose, but for now, I'm trying to be gentle with it. Well, that was easy. Hillbilly's gonna get the sway bar all unhooked. Where's the one size fits all? What size do you want? The one size that fits that one. So, like uh, this size? Sure. Now luckily I grabbed the right size for this. There you go. Whoa. Oh. The rear end is coming apart much, much easier than the front end. Since we're experts, it's just about out. We got the shock. So basically the only thing holding this in right now is a bolt back here and a bolt back there. So we're gonna drop this down onto the lift table. We're gonna take the leaf springs off of both sides because this is getting thrown right in the trash and it'll be easier to throw it in the trash than with leaf packs on it. Hillbilly's on the struggle bus, but I was thinking about something, and this is basically like we're giving the Bronx Star two new sets of shoes. All the little hooves are gonna be new, gonna have new shoes on those hooves. As I'm struggling, that's all you could think about? Yeah. Why don't you help him? One bolt. That's this literally, bent. Yeah, that's the problem, is it's bent. I don't think there's a straight bolt on the thing. It's good the Bronx Star's been living life on the edge. <laughs> this ain't working. Ow! Give me the hammer. It was a great idea. No, it was a horrible idea. A great idea. It's gonna come out in a blast of glory. <laughs> right through the wall. Yeah. I thought you said these were gonna come out easy. I told him the torch. When in doubt, beat it with a hammer. 
when in doubt, torch it out. Looks like you listen to me. All right, so I wanted Hillbilly to struggle a little bit so that he could appreciate when I bring the torch in. Go ahead and get this cut off for lunch. Okay, so that's how you expertly remove a bolt that's stubborn. Uh, all right, since we've started lots of stuff on fire in our lives, we're gonna go ahead and do the safe thing here, and we're gonna wait to torch next to the tank. Yeah, once and we... not to mention the fire extinguisher is in the Bronx Star. Yeah. So once we can't get the bolts out, then we'll try to start the thing on fire, but we're gonna start the fire. We're gonna start it on fire second, not first, right? Look, it turned itself into a cam bolt over time. That's amazing. Everything about this is worn out. Oh, sir. That sure diddly didn't do anything. Uh, that one's gonna be even harder. You think? Because we got this plastic spade, we'll have no way to get the impact up in there. Drill a hole. Drill a hole? Yeah, put an access hole. <laughs> put a hole in it so we can get that impact in. You had the torch. That seems dangerous. That sounds pretty hollow. Probably empty. And it's a metal tank, so I think it would be safe to as long as we're shooting the flame away. Should we just cut the leaf? We're not using it again, so let's do it. Should I be concerned? Just step back. Oh, that went down my shirt. Oh! I think that's why you are supposed to have PPE. What's PPE? What's PPE? I don't know, it's personal. I know what it stands for, but I've never had PPE. It's personal popsicle eating, right? Yeah. Let's see what else I burned in my pocket. Battery. Check it out. What do you know? We got it out. Woo! I've never looked on how this was mounted to the Bronco. Very crappy welds. I used it to pull a truck uh, F-150 home from Fairview on a car dolly. Yeah, look at that. That's amazing. Wow, that's right up to hillbilly standards. Okay, now we need to get the shocks out. Look at it though. It's coming along. We're gonna get this out of the way, get Frank to get this off our table. We're making progress. Oh, we can't even pull the rear bumper off. It's welded. It's not hitch. welded, because it twists. It's bungee corded oh, on there. Okay, it's bungee corded on. <laughs> no, that's just for my tops. That's even better. <laughs> Everything about this is so perfect. So what I'm trying to do is get the shock towers off of the frame, because we're gonna stiffen this frame. This frame twists so much. We're gonna put frame stiffeners all the way to the front. We got a spring perch back here that's coming off, right here. We got the shock tower mount. I'm gonna be cutting this off. Hillbilly's on the other side with a grinder because he's scared of the gas tank, which makes sense. I don't blame him. This whole frame is rusty. It's a good thing we're fixing it. No wonder this thing flexes. Got it. It's a good thing we're doing this. Cause it's literally rusted through. Right there. We're gonna fix you, sweetie. You know, my mom's always told me, doesn't matter how much you polish a turd, it's still a turd. Getting rid of this shock tower. I tried using a normal grinder on it, but it sunk in so far in the frame that it's starting to cut through the frame. I don't wanna do that. Got it. Nice. Talk about frame removal. <laughs> frame removal? You were supposed to grind the rivet, not the entire frame. <laughs> just because I got rid of the undercoating doesn't mean I hit the whole frame. No, just... Jeez. <laughs> we're just about done with the back. This Bronx Star is just basically falling apart. Why well, need those hairs? It's been used, abused, put away without being washed. But we're gonna be putting new life into this Bronx Star very shortly. Got it. Holy cow, talk about blow holes. You made fun of me. Yeah, they're perfect holes, actually. Woo! Got it. Oh, very still. It doesn't take much to put a hole in these brake lines. What happens if there's a hole in the brake line? It goes boom. Let's not do this. Let's, okay, okay, okay. Just that easy. All right, so everybody was completely scared. We didn't have a disaster. We're wearing PPE. We're wearing gloves. We're wearing glasses. Everybody's still scared. I feel like we are not wearing PPE. Yeah, we are. Yes, yeah, it's his invisible. He's got his invisible his invis shield on. 
So I got the rivets all grounded off this, and I want to air hammer them through to get the shock tower off. So I got all the rivets punched through, but we noticed there's something else holding it. A bolt. Why is it slimy? That's oil. And rust. Yeah, everything's rusted. Yeah, when you, like... <laughs> when, you, when I was what? <laughs> You can see all the rust falling down. Sounds like you're driving a remote control. That's about what that sounds like. All right, now that we've got all the suspension and brackets stripped off this thing, it's ready to be rebuilt. Except for we still got a bumper on that we gotta take off. Grill out, fenders off to where we can get a clean slate so that we can frame stiffen this. I'll tell you what, it's probably the cleanest 88 Bronco grill you'll ever see. I know, and we're gonna cut it in half. If anybody knows a good welding jacket, leave it in the comments because this is my welding jacket and it starts on fire. Well, it's cause you burnt through every other one. This welding jacket was sent to us by some viewers. It's actually the company that makes our winch. So that's super nice of them. But I've turned it into a welding jacket, but I really like it, so thank you. Speaking of hoodies, you're not gonna wanna miss it. In a couple of days, we are getting brand new hoodies. We'll let you guys know. We'll probably make a post. We'll put it in another video when the new hoodies drop. Just in time for Christmas. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned and not miss out. We should be able to oh. shake, rattle, and it'll roll. Pull that sucker off. Oh. Look at that, we got a two for one. That might be back on. We're gonna be building this out because you're gonna put winch mount and then we'll build you a custom bumper what do you guys think should we put a winch on this thing i think we're gonna need it because we're gonna need it for recoveries we're gonna what is it snub nose it we're gonna cut the grill narrow it all in so the front end's gonna kick to about here so we're just gonna have a real nice cute little bumper winch mount right here all protected looking awesome we'll probably have to cut out a cute little bow tie that says fart on it why bow yeah. tie because if i'm cutting it out there's gonna be a bow tie that says ford in the middle no yeah it'll be a robbie custom <laughs> nice. We're gonna be eliminating everything that doesn't have a purpose on here. Let's get the inner splash shields off. Looks like that's disconnected already. We're gonna get the splash shields pulled out with the grill. This pristine grill is gonna get pulled out so it doesn't get damaged. And what we're gonna do, so we're gonna remove these and we're gonna throw them in the trash because when we rebuild this sweet, sweet stallion, we're putting steel in there, not plastic. Look at all that room for activities. We gotta make room for all the articulation this sweet Larry's gonna have. All right, we're gonna pull the rear bumper off now. Well, make sure you unbungee cord it. Jeez. I'm working on that. These bungee cords we're doing a lot. I wasn't gonna have it just fall off. One bungee cord. Got it. Watch out, watch out. You want to host this? What the heck is that? It's just a trash catch off. Something smells so bad. Probably all the burnt everythings. You know what I'm excited for? To cut the entire back of this off and throw it away. You gotta and keep this though. Like the spare tire just up on the cage. I think it looks so cool. I mean, I'm, I'd be down for the- So Hillbilly's the... down for both. So he likes the look of the spare tire on the back. I'm trying to convince him that it would look awesome on the back side of the cage. So this is gonna get a ranger bed with a ranger tailgate. So that we don't have this hatch anymore. And I think just a sleek mount on the back of the cage would look so cool. What do you guys think? Let us know. But would it work with the top on it? You know what? We'll cross that bridge when we get there. We'll Make an indent in the back for the yeah. tire. Have it fiberglass. That'd be sweet. Back to the front end, kids. So uh, we're literally- yeah, I don't like vehicles slammed to the ground. Bronx Star, it looks good on the ground. No, it looks better lifted with big tires. We are literally as far down as the lift will go. So the only way this is coming off the lift is when this thing has new shoes. It's gonna be new boot goofing in a couple of weeks. My dad only owned it for like a week before I got it. Before you got your grubbies on it? Mm hmm Traded a 90s Honda Civic for it that oh. needed a clutch put in it. How long have you had this lovely Bronx Star? Two years, I believe. Super beautiful thing. I think two years. Well, I see that we've got the oil for the- For the awesome Pro Charger. Charger. It's just a trash can on wheels. It's all coming together. I absolutely love when a plan starts to pay off. 
Whoa. Some of you might wonder why we're even wasting our time, but the Bronx Star is a diamond in the rough. It is gonna be a shining star before you guys know it. And yes, we do auto body and paint, but guess what? We also fabricate. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you through the entire process. We're gonna strip this bad boy down. Well, first of all, we push it to its ultimate limits. Then we strip it down. Then we put new shoes on it. Then we new fabricate heart. it. Then we put a new heart in it. Then we have to paint it. So you are not gonna wanna go anywhere. I think I got all the bolts. Oh, I do. Why don't we just leave the fenders off? No, nah, it needs the fenders. We're gonna have to probably relocate your battery too. Because realistically, if your tire's up here, we're gonna be cutting all this out. But when your tire comes up, we gotta make sure everything's clearanced. As always, we appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, go check out this one. Bye.